My Mystical Experience Part 3 You Really Think You're in Control um, Around this time period, I had a St. Luke icon that I got when I was a kid in Ironwood, and I gave it to somebody stupidly just to say I wasn't in control. And I'm not God, but the I question whether they're really in control. Carla's Apartment, 2009. Emily's apartment, 2004 or 5. Was that? That was 2005. Emily's apartment, 2005. Carla's apartment, 2009. Those two events are connected. Carla's apartment will always just be. That's just too much. And she's a fair maiden. She's fair and height. It's just too much. I lived through it. I can look back and say that that was there. Um, but do they. Is Are they really in control? The Malagasy song. Hey, lewd dudes, John Wayne isn't here. John Wayne was a Catholic. The Madman, in comparison to the Bill and Ted's on Beards, was Melvin. The thing about Melvin is I needed to talk. It was like the MILF thing with the you got you or you're going to leave. Uh, the thing that happened in my mom's house where it's like I, I should have talked to you guys about how I was having problems with that. I should mention those things like I'm not ready to be in this position. I'm really embarrassed about my life. When CeeLo said... I was out of touch, and he kind of doesn't say touch. I thought he said I was out of touch. And then I had this huge thing about how he was cast from the mold of my grandfather Melvin and was delusionally thinking about my grandfather Melvin before I watched Bill and Ted's on Beards, which I watched the day George Carlin died. And I watched it because, like the Seventh Seal, it had the Seventh Seal, it had gnarly dudes, it had an odd couple, it had everything. George Carlin had been this guy where I was on Tom Laverty's website, I once asked if Gnarls Barkley was George Carlin. I said, is it George Carlin? Of course, I wasn't really knowing if you guys knew. If they knew, did they know? I don't know. I was confused. I was in a really weird spot. I didn't have a great grip on my sanity. I'm much better off nowadays. But anyway, so the Bill and Ted thing was the Melvin thing was another thing I should have addressed. I should have stopped having delusions about my grandfather. And it was like, I ended up having delusions about my grandfather for a long time. That was, that went into Lil Wayne with the Donnie Darko. That was like, I didn't talk about it. The Malagasy song off the Henry Cowell album. Hey, Lou dudes, John Wayne isn't here. Mitch, you are that Martin Luther. John Wayne isn't here. Mitch Hedberg is like, it's too weird. It still says it. Mystic stuff is going on in my life, and it's starting to go full blast. When I find the madman. So if you look at this, the odd couple here, the seventh seal to the dying gall. The seventh seal is a movie, the dying gall is a book. Bill and Ted's a movie, and now the madman is a book. The madman by Khalil Gibran. The, he looks like me. He's more attractive than I am, but he still looks like me. Proximity is a lot in resemblance. I've paid a lot of attention to it. But anyway, the madman is the one where it's not just that he looks like me, it's that the story is that you stole my masks. And that's exactly what happened in Gnarls Barkley, is this thing where they stole my masks. It's too bizarre. You really think you're in control, Gnarls Barkley? Because I think your odd couple is the Seventh Seal Crazy Witch and the Madman. Because I just realized last night, isn't that interesting that I find two people who look like me, and I'm not using a computer program, but they're both crazy too. I mean, Bill and Ted is a movie that has resemblance, but it's just to my grandfather, Melvin. And that's proximity, too. Melvin looks enough like that guy that if they point... He was Swedish, too. So the Swedish movie reference to the Swedish grandfather, Melvin, is just too weird for me. Stay Sean stays in my head. And Third Street Video is selling off all their VC VHSs. And I just somehow noticed Stay Sean McDevitt. Stay in his lifetime. Don't watch movies past... So I buy all these VHS movies up to the point of 1996, yeah, 1996, when Sean McDevitt died in a car accident with four other boys. It was a tragedy that gets addressed by Children of the Night, which is a movie basically loosely in Calumet of the Italian Hall disaster with the children, that so many children died on that, that thing. And it's just like loosely connected to it, and it's just like... If you're getting, I just realized this lately, 
if you're getting into a deep like theological or philosophical discussion about like tragedy and like why bad things happen to good people or how can God let those things happen, I didn't understand the Shaw McDevitt tragedy to the Italian Hall disaster and all that stuff. And I mean that's that was just all too much. Then the the I was like you and my brother's wife. My brother was getting married then. The thief of Baghdad also happened. That was cool. Um, my brother was getting married then. And the thing with my brother's wife is where, but stay Sean isn't mean because God has blessed me with my brother's wife. Like I loved that girl. Stay Sean. Sean was nice to me. So it gives me faith. The gift of faith is wonderful. Stay Sean. All this stuff like is sad and tragic. But this thing that God has left me is God's mercy and love and faith. The gift of faith is so wonderful. Because I believe God did this. So you can wonder about that too. Josie. It's about Josie. It's about my brother's wife. Had the same name as this girl I had this huge, huge crush on. She is an ordinary American. She's nothing like what I thought she'd be like. She's so pretty. She's probably beautiful. I betrayed her by going the wrong way. I'm so angry about subculture. I'm so angry I ditched my best friend Lucas Lavoy growing up. So anyway, Children of the Night is also at the beginning of Kids. The Thief of Baghdad is... He, the genie looks like Charles Barkley. You can check my MySpace at Dead Goner. The, I put up a picture of a white tiger and in the bottom it says, I want to be a sailor sailing on the sea. That was before I knew it. And it was just like my bike got stolen when I rented that one at Third Street Video. And then Children of the Night and Kids. And I think there's that allusion to it. The kid looks like Sean McDevitt in the movie. It was so weird. So then Radio Molly around that time period has a song called Michigan. That's kind of like the intermission. I'm leaving a mystic situation. I don't know to go Catholic. I date Jenny Anthony. I break up with her. I get to the song Josephine, the Haitian song. It was something I'd been meaning to do for a long time, get into some... Uh, I heard that Haitian rhythms are really like intricate and strange, so I bought an album of Haitian stuff. The song spoke just like the Malagasy song, and so, but it mentioned J-Lo and Eminem, Luke, everything is just that moving. It's an interesting thing to put to Gnarls Barkley, like everything's just that moving. Like emotionally moving or powerful. Or, But Josephine was the name. It's too much. I can't take it. There's other stuff, but I can't take it. I have to go to a church. My girlfriend, Jenny Anthony, you know, was Rain Dance Maggie. She got me to go to a church one time, a couple of times. But this was, I need to go to a church because she had broke up with me and this mystic stuff just kept going on. I had to go to a church. Um, so my going to a church was then Father Ryan Ford, who looks like Sean McDevitt, is hearing my confession. Father Ryan Ford is in Ishpeming now at St. John the Evangelist, who is one who is my patron saint. How much mystic is allowed in this time period or in this amount of time? Can we cover also during my becoming a Catholic, there was a cornfield, a dream where I saw God's name in a cornfield on fire with the wrath of God. God's wrath at Hollywood. Why? The Princess Bride. That's the only reason. You can't leave me the Princess Bride in the horror movie section. That I'm deeply scarred by the horror movie section for life. And then when I when my cat dies and I go, well, the Princess Bride won't take the Lord's name in vain because I don't want to watch movies that take the Lord's name in vain. I might go see the Elvis movie tonight, but if they take the Lord's name in vain, I leave the theater. I don't want to do that. They did it in Father's too. I was really sad. But the cornfield on fire with God's wrath happened in a dream, and it was deep. I had a book. When I was becoming Catholic, I was really into buying stuff. I was really into it. I really wanted to become Catholic. And that's another thing that's proof from the Stay Sean thing that I did become Catholic. And there's all this stuff about it where it's like, yes, if you do know the things about the Catholic Church, God did lead me to the Catholic Church. Father Ryan Ford looked like Sean McDevitt. It all indicates the Catholic Church, some of it. Josie was Catholic. My brother's wife is Catholic. We go with his Catholic family to church. My friends growing up were Catholic. George Carlin was Catholic. Um, I don't know about John Wayne. Hey, Lou dudes, John Wayne isn't here. John Wayne was Catholic. Khalil Gibran was Catholic. I don't know about Carla. Um, the Seventh Seal, I don't know about. The Dying Gaul comes from a book, How the Irish Saved Civilization, which points out a bunch of Catholic stuff. Greg Bonsoni was the sponsor I had when I was becoming Catholic. They chose him. I didn't tell them, hey, give me a guy with a G and a B in his name. Like, give me the first name with a G and the second name with a B. 
I didn't say, hey, can you give me like George Bush for my sponsor? No, they chose Greg Bonsoni. I didn't do that. At some point, Hari Dios goes to station, and it makes sense that that's the predestination. If you really think you're in control, Narles Barkley, Hari Dios was meant to go to station, and then we're not that gnarly. We're not that no holds barred. We're not that this thing, this thing, this thing. We're just regular Americans. And there we are at a horror movie called Children of the Night instead with the Hallbergs, with the Allberg. The Hallbergs, uh, this was a weird thing for just real quick. Um, oh, no, I can't. I'll, I'll, okay, no, I don't. I don't have enough time.